Today I'm going to show you how to make your own fireworks. Um, so what I'm doing here, I'm actually what we're making is cake boxes. <laughs> um, now a couple reasons you want to, I'm going to have a couple things here I want to show you. First this is a pre-done cake box. Uh, this is the maximum limit you can buy um, in New Hampshire, which is 500 grams. Um, over here we have some uh, artillery shells. Um, these you can just get uh, pre-packaged. Now this this one right here, this one was about 120 bucks, um, maybe 160, uh, and it got at TNT, and it's buy one get one free. Uh, plus, you spend over 600 bucks, you get additional deals. Uh, I'm going to compare the two versus basically one of these costing about 35 dollars, um, and we get a lot more bang for a buck here because you have 12 shells and you only have nine here. Now what you can do when you're making your own cake boxes, first of all, is you're making things for a lot cheaper, because this is again, buy one, get one free. So $40, I get 24 um, shots. And it's still multicolored, as you can see, you get the different, uh, different effects here. Um, and you can set that up certain colors back and forth. And actually you can see the string on here, the colored yellow and things like that. Um, what I've done now, as you can see, this comes with a cardboard. What I've done, and I went to Cairo, pyroboom.com. I'll put a link in the show notes. And we got our own um, tubes here, mortar tubes. Now, what this is, this is a DR11, which if we measure it, it should be about 1.9, about 1.9 as far as the, the width here. Um, and the outside is two, a little bit more than two and a quarter. Now, what you might want to do first is get the fireworks you're going to be using and then order the two based off of that. The, the DR11 is the most common size, so that's the one that I got. But I did buy my, uh, my mortars first here. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to set up these in a row so we can shoot them off um, one by one. And I'll, I'll show you how to make actually a cake box. We're doing some different angles and things like that. So after we get that set up, we'll put these um, artillery shells in. I have some extra long fuses so we can daisy chain them, just like this is already done in the box. And then I also have a remote detonator here that we'll be setting up. Um, and I'll show you that. So this was purchased on eBay for about 200 bucks. This, I can shoot up to um, 255 different fireworks. It has this remote right here, and it's RF, which is important. Uh, so you, know, you can be kind of anywhere you want and shoot them off safely. So I'll go step by step through doing this, but this is basically what you need to get set up first. And again, you know, you're gonna save a lot of money by doing this, and it's gonna look uh, better, and you're gonna get more than 500 grams per, per shot, and these are reusable, so next year, you're gonna buy these tubes and you can just buy the fireworks themselves. So first thing we're gonna do is, I got all my tubes lined up, 24 tubes here. And I just wanna see what kind of angle and what my width is and everything. So I think I'm gonna go two tubes here in the corner angled out, two rows here angled out and keep the middle going straight up. So I'm just gonna measure my distance and my width. I'm gonna make a little frame around these tubes and then I'm going to give it a, a slight angle. So what I have now is I've kind of set um, my main rack up here and as you can see I have six cornered and my middle are straight and another six in the other corner and I've kind of equally distributed them. I haven't done this side yet. So I'm putting a two by four making sure they're nice and tight against here. Probably putting some duct tape around too just for extra security and maybe some wire ties in addition to that. We do not want this flipping over and moving at all. But this is going to be really strong for shooting off fireworks. And uh, yeah. Okay. See now I have all my uh, racks here in place. The mortar shells nice and tight. Put some extra piece of wood right here. Put some piece of wood right here. Pieces of wood between the things. As I pull I can't move them. That's what you want. Now you could put it in a uh, regular old cardboard box uh, right here. It would just be pointing straight up. But this is going to give it a longer last, much more secure, much safer, uh, things won't tip over and because I angle it this way it's going to give it a neat look as you go in the air and people are watching. They won't expect it to go sideways. But you don't want to go too much of an angle because that can get dangerous so I'd say about this, this is probably um, 
near 90, probably about 70 degree angle. So next we're going to get the different fireworks set up. Get the, we're going to get the mortars in here and have some different fuses. These I again got at um, that pyro website, um, which I'll put a link in there. And so we got some quick fuses, some more slow burning fuses. So we're going to mix it up and uh, I'm going to run this as one long continuous loop and just go through here. I might go do 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 do, or I can go starting here, then to here, then the middle, back and forth. So I'm going to play around with the fusing and uh, make it all fancy and have fun with that. So now I got all my fuses lined up. I have my uh, power for my remote detonator going to my different speed fuses. And the first one I'm just going to be going ju ju up up, just regular along the way. The second fuse I have uh, after that one will be going the first two, then skipping to the last two, then doing my middle row. And then finally the last uh, set I have is going straight to the middle and I'll be doing simultaneously shooting off here, 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 there, and there. Uh, and at least that's the plan. So, so when uh, reality hits, we will see if that actually happens. Sometimes you might get some fuses that don't go off. I've taped these fuses up with electrical tape. Um, so after everything's done, if I have any extras, uh, I'll just shoot them off the next night. But that's basically how to make your own cake box. Uh, again, made it for about half the price of a regular cake box. This is reusable. And uh, I mean, maybe even one third the price of a regular cake box and uh, much more shots and uh, much more uh, black powder. So I uh, hope you liked the video. If you have any questions, just let me know. Thanks.